Hi guys, Steve Kirby, Kels Fenix Kirby on Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow me. Um, same as on here. Right, if you're looking at this video, uh, there's a good chance you've, you've watched my previous videos and you're just following my bicep injury. Um, or you've Googled or you've been on YouTube and put bicep there because you've toy bicep yourself. Or you've tore some kind of tendon and this video has popped up. So, quick insight into my story and what's happened. I totally ruptured my left distal bicep tendon and totally snapped it from the bone. The distal end, the end that connects your bottom of your bicep to this area here. Um, people also tell the biceps from the top end, which is the shoulder, to the top of the bicep. The bicep comes down, my bicep went up. Um, got a slight scar which is healing nicely. Um, it was really bumpy, but that's going down. Some scars there where they did the incision um, to connect the tendon back. But yeah, it's been probably four weeks and a couple of days um, since surgery. So I think it's 27th of September today. I had surgery on the 1st of September. Now, I've got full movement back in my arm. I've got no pain. Whatsoever, um, still got a bit of numbness here, but you'll know yourself if you, if you're feeling this area and you can't feel your tendon, then you you've ruptured your, your distal tendon because it, it's just there. You you can't miss it. If you have a feeling there, and there's nothing there, and your biceps up here somewhere, a bit of bruising, and you've definitely ruptured your distal bicep tendon. Right, so after about week three after surgery, I bought these off Amazon. Starwood Sports Resistance Bands. These small resistance bands, you get extra heavy, heavy, medium and light. For the last week, I've, I've been using this light one, gradually just doing stuff like tricep extensions. And that's helped me get full extension back on my arm. Again, there's, there's no pain whatsoever, and it is really, really light, but it's just starting to build that muscle again. So, even though this is more tricep, it's still the extension of my, my tendon, stretching it, um, which feels good, which feels better. So all I've been doing is three or four sets, 10 reps of these, a couple of times a day, and then as for curling and working my bicep, I don't want to go fully because that's putting a lot of pressure on, on my tendon still. So until the surgeon says otherwise, I'm trying to go from, from like a 90 position, holding this end, and then just literally getting a bit of a pump and then getting blood back in my bicep. And I'll maybe do like do 10, again, three sets and do that a couple of times a day. And you start feeling a bit of a pump. Also, another thing I've been doing is quite a bit of dynamic tension. So, squeeze, but if you feel anything, any pain, any ache, then I'd stop, because I don't want to push it. But when there's, there's no pain, squeeze to the point where you know you're not doing yourself any harm, but you're getting blood back in here. So I've been doing quite a lot of that. And that's helped as well. Plenty of bio oil or coconut oil. Keep rubbing it into your scar because that is quite, quite thick, the scar tissue. But again, it's only been a few weeks, man's breaking down quite nicely. Doesn't really feel tight no more. Um, the one thing I struggled with was my pronation which my pronation and my sub subnation is both fine now, there's no pain. Slight ache here, but that's still my nerve. Whereas move my nerve, damage my, my nerve, it's still bruised. So still feels a bit weird down here when I touch it. It's really, really like hypersensitive. I still get pins and needles in my thumb a little bit. But other than that, my supination, pronation, 12 pronation, I've just been Egging it on with his hand slightly, just giving it a bit of a twist every couple of times a day. And that's basically what physios told me. My surgeons told me just to be doing this. 
But if you listen to the surgeon, uh, it'll just take forever to heal, I think. So I have spoke to a physio at the gym one on. And the physio's advice would be work to the pain. If you feel pain, stop. If you feel a niggle, stop. But if there's no pain, just do what you can. Just get that arm back working again. And that's all I've done. So it's just, just nearly four weeks. And coming back to life a little bit. Another thing I do is when I'm rubbing, I, I moisturise this um, to loosen the scar tissue and soften it up. But I've also been giving my bicep a good massage as well. I wrap especially around this area and across the tendon. Yeah, I'm just rubbing oil in there. And I, I think that's everything what's helped. I've seen some videos on YouTube and months later they're still struggling to turn around though they've got pain. One thing I wouldn't advise is don't be picking a dumbbell up um, for a good couple of months. I haven't been nearly a month, I've still got no intention of picking a dumbbell up for a couple of months. I will carry on with these and I will move on to like the medium and then the heavy. But there is quite a difference. So I'm a long way away from the heavy. Probably another couple of weeks with this light one. Then move on to the medium for a few weeks. Uh, I see my surgeon next a week next Tuesday. I don't see him till the 10th of October. So when I see my surgeon, I'll see what he says and I'll give you another little update of where I'm at. But like I said in my other videos, don't be too disheartened if you've done it. I did it and I thought, crap, that's not training or anything for me for six months. It's only been not even a month. And I feel fine. <clears throat> so I believe a couple more months I'll be back doing bodyweight training again. Obviously slowly building myself back up. But, but yeah, just go steady. Do your research, that's all I've done. Looked on Google, looked at the nutrition I should be eating, like my oily fish and dairy. Um, I had a good two weeks where I didn't do anything, I just rested. Uh, and that's that's what you need to do to start with, just rest it. But while it's resting, it's in a sling. Still kind, just do what movement you can, because obviously keeping it active, you're not gonna seize up. So I'm just doing like shrugs and stuff like that, just keeping my shoulder moving. And you should heal fairly quick. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know in a couple of weeks what the surgeon said up in the next video. But a couple of days away, from, <clears throat> it'll be a month since surgery. So I'm getting a bit fat, I think I'm not. But feeling good. All right, follow me, message me, do whatever you want to do. If not, I've got a little video, a video diary. Cheers.